I will be till forever until they reset and then I'll probably be level 20. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Hi, welcome. Just having some fun and my crazy commentary of Dead by Daylight. Uh, the problem is, is I'm normally a radio DJ and I talk too much. So I thought I would give my commentary today as I played if we can find a match. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. So my normal loadout is uh, self-care and um, calm spirit for sure. I normally have urban evasion and I've gotten so much slack for using it. Like people are like, why are you using that? It's crazy. I used to use it a lot for the hag just because I could go faster to get people off when she sets her traps. But I've since removed it and I've used Ace in the Hole, um, which gives me 100% chance to have a very rare or lower add-on attached to whatever I pick up out of the chest. A lot of times I'll go around and open all the chests so that other people can get something great as well and just leave the item in the chest. Um, my new favorite is Diversion. Uh, it usually helps at the end where they're looking for me and I throw it and they go the other way and it makes me giggle. I don't know why. Um, but that's my, that's my hookup for today is self-care, diversion, calm spirit, and ace in the hole. Hopefully I don't die. Maybe, maybe, maybe you guys will be a witness to me making it to level 14 today. So let's cross our fingers and hope and if you pray, pray. If not, you know, it don't matter. <laughs> As for an offering today, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. 100% blood points in the boldness category. Why not? I'm pretty bold today. And I think I'm going to leave my item blank so I can pick something up out of a chest. It just makes more sense that way. And so we'll go ahead and get out of this. Ah, she's kind of dressed funky, but who cares? Um, I find that if I put my level 3... Claudette outfit on that I get targeted <laughs> so and it's not that I'm any good it's just that I play too much so there's my level three all right got some people here Jane Romero she looks so like sassy standing there like she knew I said something she just read it up <laughs> come on David you're the last one let's go or maybe he's making a dramatic entrance who knows Hi. <laughs> oh, he decided to be a Jake Park. Oh, see? Now there's his bloody outfit. That means he's ranked up, and that's just kind of a signal to killers. Like, hey, I've played the game a few times. You're not going to do much to me. Oh, change. And you know, it has to be a woman, because they're changing their mind an awful lot. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Stereotypical. Right. This is the first time in a long time I've seen everybody do an offering. That's amazing. So Terrible silence here. <laughs> I love that. Survivors in the dying state can still escape. Um, it's kind of funny. I've done it a couple times. Made it to the hatch just at the last moment. Or crawled out the exit. Hi, guys. Look, everybody's starting together. Let's see what we can find. I'm looking for a totem or a chest to start. I hear him coming. Aha, there's our killer. Whoop, looks like he ran into the wall. That was quite humorous. Okay, so 
So now that we know he's not over here, I'm going to run this way. And check for a chest. Nope, we're going downstairs. Now there is a perk that allows killers to know when somebody goes in the basement. And so far, so far, knock on wood, I have not found a single killer who has used it. Um, because the first place I normally go is in the basement. Ooh, nice chest find. Nice chest find. You know, the ha- Ooh, look, I was just going to say they normally set up some sort of trap in this area. And there it was. Just heard. Ooh. Oh, shoe polish. Stay away, trapper. All right, well, I couldn't get him out of the trap. Don't you take him in the basement. <laughs> that probably was not the brightest move I've made, but um, I was hoping he wouldn't see me chasing behind him. Nope, I'm not escaping. All right. But he's going to check. The really? Okay. Go on, go on. Oh, there comes somebody. All right, let's get this other person off. He's been on here longer. Run, buddy! Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! While oh god, get him! While oh shit! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! Save him! Save him! Go run, guys! Run! All right. <laughs> I may have just made the ultimate sacrifice, but I think they've made it out. That's cool. That is so cool. This is why I'm still level 15. Because <laughs> I make really dumb choices sometimes. But I think the guy, oh no, somebody else is down. I was going to say, I think they got free. Oh, here comes Lori. Oh no, it's the damn killer. No. Oh, you bully. Oh. Oh, I hope she can jump off there. She's going to try. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we're gonna go back and watch this just because I'm curious. Somebody's coming to save her. Ah, oh, let me see, I wanna view. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, this is what I like. Like, oh good, you got that nice. She got my medical pack. Nice, nice, nice. You're probably going to need that one. <gasps> oh, seriously? Right there. She almost made it out. Go, girl, go. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Alright, well now she's got a chance. She's got that amazing medical kit that I picked up because of Ace in the Hole. And, uh, so it wasn't a waste. She got it. She can use it. That's gonna really help her heal fast. That's better than her plain self-care. So, um, great. There she goes. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's see if this other one can get to the hatch. Ah! 
Does she know where it is? Or... She might have seen it earlier. I don't know. Nope, she's looking for it. Alright, well, I hope you find it before the killer does. I'm almost getting dizzy watching this. This is crazy. <laughs> it's kind of that point where you want to slow down and listen for that sound from the hatch. But the last few games I played, it doesn't seem really loud anymore. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell where it's at. Oh, I hear it. <gasps> there it is. Yay. And she made it out. That was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Alright, so we are off to our next game. <laughs> that wasn't a really great start. And like I said, I made some mistakes. I shouldn't have jumped down there right away. I should have probably waited at the top until the killer came back up um, to go get that guy. But... Probably, like I said, why I'm still at level 15 and not, like, level 8. Um, but once again, if you play video games and it's no longer fun, then maybe you shouldn't play video games anymore. You know, unless they pay you to play them. Um, and then once again, I'd still say, if it's not fun, it's just not worth it. I mean, that's why I stay at the radio station. If it's not fun, don't do it. You know, if you can't make a living with something fun, then... Your life's going to be pretty dull. And uh, I get a lot of flack on here. Like, oh, you're a trash player. You know, I'm not a trash player. I play destructive sometimes. Um, I didn't even know what toxic players were for a very long time. And the first time somebody asked me farm, question mark, I was like, no, I don't have enough trees to make it a farm, technically. Like, talking about my residence, not my, <laughs> my game. Because I had no idea what farming was. And then the first time I got a message that um, said SWF, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm a single white female, but why are you asking me that? And then they sent me an invite to play uh, Survive with Friends, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm just kind of a dit. That just means that I'm not out to, like, get people, and I don't trash talk a lot of people. If you're going to camp in my face. Like, just stand there so nobody can save me. Yeah, you're probably not that great of a player. But who am I to judge? Because I run, I run into things, I fall, I get trapped, I get hooked, um, I make a lot of noise, I blow up generators. Um, none of it, of course, is on purpose. It's just the way I am. But, once again, I'm having fun. So, you know, budge. <laughs> if you're having fun, play it. I don't care. If you call me a trash player... It just shows how disturbed you really are. Um, I, I've seen a lot of camping camping killers, and I have to be a little lenient because, you see, I am level 15. So generally, most of the killers are either the same level as me or probably a little higher. I've seen a lot of level 20 killers lately, which means they're probably fairly new. And I'm going to tell you, the very first time I ever hooked somebody as a killer... I stood there giggling, like, and watched them die. Okay, that's camping. But I didn't know that. I didn't know you weren't supposed to guard them. So I try not to ever judge a camping killer. If they're level four and they're camping... What now? Oh, God, that still scares me. Ashley, quit saying stuff. What now? He says, what now? <laughs> what now? I'll need to shut up and play a game. <laughs> 
anyway, if they, um, have a little leniency if people don't play the game the way you do. I haven't made it this far by listening to everybody else. And there's people who are much bolder than me. My heart beats a million miles a minute if I'm up against Michael Myers. So my boldness level drops dramatically when I'm playing against Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers because they just give me the heat. Live broadcast, I've screamed, screamed like a little girl. And um, that's because they really do scare the shit out of me. So come on, you know, you guys be nice to other people. Try not to trash them. Um, and, and what if, you know, a player's just having a bad day? I've handed the control over to my kid before because uh, I had to go to the bathroom and then I've got a message, you know, you're a trash player. Well, you never know who's on the other end of that controller, ever. Or what kind of day they're having or if they're just effing off because you pissed them off. You know, so try never... It's hard. I know it's hard. Try never to judge other people's play. Um, you, I mean, you guys watching me here are probably going, God, this girl should not be playing. She really doesn't know what she's doing. And I still don't. All I know is the objective is to escape. But do I save other people or I just run for the hills? That's, that's the thing that bugs me. Like, sometimes I'll stick around and make sure everybody gets out and then I die. And then what? Like, I could have saved myself because I'm the one that opened the gate. I could have run. But no. Yeah, so is it a mistake or is it niceness? I guess you decide. I don't think they should allow this much commentary in Dead by Day. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. We are at Blood Lodge, Auto Haven Wreckers. This one is really good if you use a lot of um, perks for like finding um, pallets and windows and stuff like that. This is great for those who can actually loop killers. I personally cannot. I always get caught. Um, oh, and it's the doctor. This one is where my calm spirit comes in handy. Let's go check a chest over here real quick. I'll probably leave this one open for somebody else and go downstairs. Unless it's something really amazing. What's in it? What's in it? Oh, it's, you know, it's a decent first aid kit. Let's see what we find down here. Oh, that's a pretty nice toolbox. So we're going to take that. Hopefully we can get some something done while everybody's screaming because the doctor's zapping them all. Okay, I'm going to head over this way. And we're going to start on this generator. doesn't appear to have a ruin or anything, so uh, next up would probably be to kill off the totems, because generally if they don't have anything guarding their totem, or guarding or whatever, they usually have no one escapes death at the end, which is a terrible perk, to be honest. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? That was like a glitch. Oh, I see him. Oh my gosh, he's chasing somebody. Do I run and try to save? How do I do this? Okay. This is my dilemma. Like, am I that bold? Do I want to run in there? I should have killed that hook. Alright, well, we'll just give the doctor a minute because he's going to start seeing if he can make people scream. Yep, see, there he goes. Alright, he's walking away, so I'm going to grab her off the hook. Alright. Run! <laughs> 
Where'd you go? Oh, well, okay. See, this totem doesn't have anything on it that I'm going to destroy it anyway, because like I said, he probably has no one escapes death. I can't believe my generator. I'm sure you guys saw that it like just stopped giving me skill check altogether and like blew up. This is where people always say, why don't you go body block? Why don't you just, uh, then we're all gonna die. <laughs> you guys just saw what happens when I try to body block and we both get on the hook. I'm kind of watching the killer there, trying to see where he's at. Oh, somebody got him. Okay. Oh my gosh, it did it again. There was no... The noise came, but there was no um, visual for... I wonder if that's a perk. I don't know. It's either a glitch or a perk. I haven't seen that before. But I heard the ding, and there was no place for me to... Um... That's really weird. No place to show where to stop. It was like instant. I'll have to check at the end to see. It's something I haven't come across yet. Alright, dude, we're gonna run. We're gonna run. Come on. I'm getting you out here. Run, run, run. Here comes that doctor. He's bad. <laughs> He's gonna give us shots if we don't move. <laughs> Let's see if it does it on this one. I hear, I hear it, but then it doesn't give me the skill check. See, there it goes again. See? Okay, that has to be like a, that is weird. All right, now I'm gonna turn into one of those tappers where I'm just gonna tap it. <laughs> I can't explain. Oh my gosh, there it goes. I can't explain that. I don't know why it does that. And they're all getting generators, so maybe it's just happening to me, or maybe they know what to do. I don't, I don't get that. So now I'm going to look like a fool and just kind of run around here and look for totems. That's the best way I can help right now. Oh, shoe polish. Oh, where's the hook? Where's the hook? way over there. I couldn't do anything about that. Go away, doctor. Go away. Did he see me? No. That's funny. I thought he saw me. That was so crazy. Alright, come on, girl. We're gonna run. We're gonna run like you have no tomorrow. And if you follow me, I'll heal you, but you're not following me, are you? Well, here comes the doctor. Oh, I couldn't get him to run that way. Damn.
Okay, I'm gonna have to tap this one because... I really wish I knew if that was just happening to me or if it's a perk. That's very... See, no, I don't have to snap out of anything, so I don't know why it would do that. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's go find an exit. And get it open and get people out of here together. They can find this exit's open. And there's the doctor, I think. <gasps> oh, that one's gone down. All right, let's see if we can go help somehow. Hopefully they're not dead on hook. Yep, they are, so I'm headed back towards the exit. That one escaped. Come on, you guys. Where are you? <laughs> I'm out of there. Alright, well, I hope the other guys escape because <sighs> hopefully he found well, this is the watch. Spectate on that. Oh! Alright, there you go, yay! You're good. Get in the exit right there. Or go find the other exit then. Whatever you feel like doing. Oh, you just wanted the shape here. That is so cute. Mess with that poor kid. <laughs> oh, that was just kind of wrong. No, <laughs> that was just kind of wrong. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, so we've made it out. We're all safe except for one. Alright, you guys. I actually got a little, another a plus one on that one, so maybe I'll make it to level 14. You might witness that today. Um, we'll try one more round. I'll probably do really bad and get knocked back down. <laughs> but if we can witness it, that's great. That'll be level 14. I'll be like, yay, we finally hit level 14, because I'm really having a hard time. <laughs> to leave everything the way it is leave all my perks because they're fun so far um i don't know i might change my diversion i used um deliverance once but every time i use deliverance it seems like i'm put on the hook very first part of the game and then i never get to use it so maybe we can check that out again deliverance we're gonna go ahead and try deliverance and see how much trouble i get in maybe we'll do an offering it sounds fun um, all right, let's go as far away from the killer as possible. That way I don't get in trouble right away. 
um, it'll take them 20 seconds to get to me. <laughs> that should work. Uh. I can't believe I'm still rank 15. I think I've been rank 15 the entire time I've tried to do any of these videos. I think I actually got to level 14 once, and then two games later I was back on level 15. I thought, oh, holy cow. So what I'm going to have to do is get to level 14 and then not play for a month, just to stay that way for a while. <laughs> Or go play as the killer for a little while. I don't know. I'm even worse at being the killer than I am a survivor. And it's funny because as the killer, because I've played survivor, I know what survivors do. Um, and I know where they go and I know how they act. And then when I'm the killer, I'm like, oh, this is what I would. Oh, no, I knew that was going to happen. And I just feel so stupid, um, especially as Michael Myers. Like, I just sit there and stalk them. And then I feel really dumb for, like, watching them. And then, but it, it, he still scares me. Like, even if I'm playing Michael Myers, I am the killer. They cannot kill me. My heart races and that music, that theme just sticks in my head and I freak out a little bit. Um, <laughs> kind of like pretending to be the killer. He's going to come and get me or something. <laughs> it's like, don't make fun of Michael Myers. Crazy insane. I will say some of these matches have come a lot quicker than they have in the past. You know, they had a new setup for a while that everybody would just kind of mix and match so they would get to the matches quicker. Um, however, then you'd have like level two and four killers with, you know, level 18 survivors and you know that they were going to automatically win or as a killer, you know, you'd be level 18 or 20 and you'd have level 4 survivors just because they couldn't be paired with anybody else and it, it just made for a harder time for everybody. Or or a lot of name calling and bullying. You know, if you have a level 4 survivor and you're a level 20 or 19 killer and you don't do as good as they think you should, they're going to trash talk you. They send nasty messages. You know, I tried before to block um where they couldn't send me any messages and it was really great for a while until I had people say you know um I tried to play with you I found you online I tried to play with you and I couldn't send you a message and, and then I thought you know I can I'm an adult I can ignore the trash talkers and so I allowed my messages to come again but um Sometimes, you know, in the middle of your gameplay, you see something pop up and they're just vulgar and rude. And you think, gosh, your parents should be so proud of you by now. Um, and you hope that they don't act that way in everyday life. Like maybe they're just big and bad because they're behind a computer screen or something or TV. Um, but you hope you like hope that they're not that bullying and assholey in real life. And if they are, you know you just hope for the best that they don't treat everybody that way like on the street because they'll probably get their ass kicked by somebody <laughs> a lot of people don't tolerate that stuff like they can be super sweet but you come at them like that acting like a fool and you're going to get knocked the hell out it just happens and I think that um, you know they say that a lot of drugs are like liquid you know powerhouse or um, that's not the word I'm looking for liquid courage is what I was looking for and I think a lot of times being on a video game where people can't actually find you is also a great way to call it liquid courage like you can be big and bad even if you're like normally not and I've never been big and bad but I've cussed a few people and you know and, and you'll hear me cussing on here sometimes too it's just something you know, I, I tend to be a pretty nice person, but if you're going to be a bully or do really crazy stuff, or sometimes I just like to cuss. <laughs> I think every adult, once you get to that point, you're like, it's okay, I can cuss.
It's taking forever to find a match. Might have to take a nap in between. Is starting. Hopefully, it's a good one. Oh, and it's already got everybody here. All right, so ready up, people. There's always that one in a crowd. <laughs> it doesn't want to ready up. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot to check if that was a perk or not, or if it was a glitch. Oh, I hate when I get sidetracked and forget to do that. So if anybody knows, leave me a comment if you, could, if you guys saw what happened, where um, it would give me a sound notification that there was about to be a skill check, and then nothing showed up, and I, of course destroyed the generator each and every time like three times so if that is a perk of a killer can someone please let me know if not you know we'll just chalk it up to a glitch and hope it doesn't happen again I've I've found several glitches in the game one my favorite is that I always get trapped behind trees but you know what my dumb butt keeps going and hiding behind them so uh, yeah <laughs> but I have to wait till the killer knocks me down and then I still can't crawl away they have to like pick me up and sometimes they just sit there and stare at me like, why aren't you running, you crazy girl? And I'm like, please, just move me. <laughs> Get me away from the tree. <laughs> Alright, we're going to attempt the buddy system here. We're going to try to do this. Oh, Huntress Lullaby. Oh, is that her? I think I just saw her. Yep, it is, and I just... Mm -hmm. Saw the person running. Wow, that was really close. So I'm gonna try to oops. Try to continue on this generator. And see what happens. Killers right there. Okay, so far the killer is busy. Maybe I can get this gym done before I have to go rescue somebody. Oh, not in the basement, seriously? 
All right, that gym's done as well. Do you notice how quick my toolbox went away? Check that out. Like I got one generator done and my toolbox is done for. All right, let's see if we can get... Ugh. There's somebody that had the birds on their head, so... Um. Quit struggling, girlfriend. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, run! Oh, here comes the killer. Here comes the killer. Or maybe not. I heard that little heartbeat, though. It makes me crazy. Just keep running. Just keep running. My screen is so dark, I can like hardly see. Okay. I need to find another chest. Wait, here's a here's a totem. Um, it's also it's also rumored, and I don't know. I haven't confirmed it yet. But if you cleanse totems that are not active, not hexed, that it makes the time to um, destroy the hexed totem less. I don't know if that's true or not. I've heard that. Like I said, I have never confirmed. So if you guys know that fact too, it'd be greatly appreciated if you like let me know because I, I don't want to give false information to anybody. I'm looking for a chest at the moment. Oh, killer, 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 killer. Somebody's down. I'm going to hide right here for a sec. Oh, there goes the killer. What is she doing? What is she doing? Why has that person not been attacked by the killer with the crows over their head? Does that make sense? See all those crows going right now? Isn't that like a person... It is. It is. It's a, it's a player. What is going on right here? Now, my question is, if she doesn't put that person down because they're just standing there, is that, like, a player helping the killer? Or is that, like, the killer on another account somehow watching where we're at? I don't know what the perks of that, of that particular player are, but I find it odd that they're just standing there and the killer's not doing anything to them. Maybe that was them. I don't know. We'll have to go back and look. <gasps> oh, crap. That was the last thing I wanted to do is ruin a gin. Maybe we can get it done before the killer gets over here. <laughs> so now that one does it. That is so nerve-wracking. Alright, so we got this gen. Now we gotta go... I think the killer saw me! <laughs> and I forgot I don't have my pebble. I have deliverance. I just saw it. You cannot catch me. Don't catch me. Please quit chasing me. Please quit chasing me. <laughs> I promise I won't pull your piggy tails. Don't hit me down. Don't hit me down. Come on. Quit chasing me! Oh, chasing! Oh, you crapful of person. I guess that's. Oh, now I see the hex totem! Oh my god, are you for seriousness? 
right there it is. Oh my god, right when I'm trapped. Aww. Well, thanks for hanging around, lady. Um, oh my god. So it looks like we did lose one teammate. However, the others have escaped and are healed now. Um, yeah. But I'm sitting on a hook like a bump on the log. It's kind of fun. La 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 la, bum bum the log. Oh, that one went down. Now, is that the same one? I don't know. I can't figure that out. Thank you. We're going to go get this hex totem over here that we finally, finally found. Oh, where did it go? There it is. Look. Oh, no. She's coming after me. Oh, she didn't really see me until I moved, I don't think. Oh, that was crazy insane. All right, girl. Well, what is she? Oh, is she going to hang? See, she didn't hang the other one up. The other one is still laying down. That is not a good sign. There is something up with this killer, so... Yeah, this this is not right. Like, I don't want to judge this killer, but something in this player is not going correctly. Something is not legitimate here. Girl, quit wasting your time. She's not going to hang that one back up. I don't, I don't get that. That's just not right. Here she comes, too. See, now she's going to come and get us. Oh, my gosh. You crazy, crazy killer. I'm going this way. Hopefully she didn't see me. That is totally insane. So, like, this particular player over here is obviously away from their key or something and, like... See, now I need to go save that girl because she's actually contributing to this game. Oh my god, I forgot I had deliverance. I could have got myself off the hook. What is the problem? Oh, see, now I feel stupid. Like, I waited for her to come and get me, and I had deliverance. I am a total, total spaz. Now I don't know how I'm going to get this girl. She took her in the basement. Now I feel absolutely too worried about that other player that... All right, I hear her around here. See, she still hasn't gone back to get that other player. Oh, I should have got myself off the hook and that girl could have been like halfway gone. See, she knows I'm back. All right, we gotta go, girl. We gotta go. Come on. Go, go, go. I'm blocking you. I'm blocking you. Go, go, go. Run. Good girl. Run. Run, run, run. See, that other one finally died off. Finally. That was totally insane. God, where did that killer go? <gasps> I hear her. God, girl, wiggle. Wiggle like how.
Oh, and she's dead on hook. Oh, my dear God. And she saved me. See, I feel so terrible. This is just a not so nice game. Like, I'm never going to make it out of here alive. Unless the hatch is, like, really close. Oh, this is so sad. Is she gonna find me? Is she gonna find me? Almost. Oh man, that means the hatch was right over there and I couldn't find it. Aww. That is so, so terrible. Maybe if I knock on the hatch knock three times, then they'll open it for me. <laughs> That's just wrong. See, here was the hatch. Do you guys see how close I was? Like, oh, that's terrible. Oh, <sighs> all right, I wanna see something. Yeah, see, that was just wrong. Like everybody did their part and that was just wrong all right well that's it for me hope you all have a good day thanks for listening to my large commentary my babbling on tune in soon for more <laughs>